everything you use was always prescribed. Yeah. Uh -huh. Doesn't matter what it was. No matter what it was. I was doing everything, everything that I did was prescribed. Once they did out all that, you know, I, I, I just followed, you know, the rules. Who is Ronnie? In the world of bodybuilding, there are champions, and then there's Ronnie Coleman, a living legend whose bulging biceps and chiseled physique have inspired a generation of athletes. Ronnie is the ultimate embodiment of grit, perseverance, and dedication. Born in 1964, Ronnie's journey to greatness began in the most unlikely of places. Growing up in rural Louisiana, he had nothing but a dream and a fierce determination to succeed. And succeed he did. With eight consecutive Mr. Olympia titles to his name, Ronnie stands tall as one of the greatest bodybuilders of all time, a true icon of the sport. But his greatness doesn't end there. Ronnie also holds the record for the most IFBB wins with an incredible 26 victories, surpassing the likes of Vince Taylor and other notable champions. And he's not just brawn, he's brains too. Graduating cum laude from Grambling State University with a degree in accounting, Ronnie also served as a police officer in Arlington, Texas for over a decade. Early Career He didn't come from a family of champions or have access to the best trainers and facilities, but what he lacked in resources, he made up for in sheer determination and grit. In the shadow of the great Dorian Yates, Ronnie was a dark horse, a name that nobody paid much attention to, but in 1998 he exploded onto the scene like a thunderbolt, shocking everyone with his incredible mass and size. He was a behemoth, standing at almost 300 pounds on stage, with an off-season weight of 330 to 350 pounds, and rumors of him weighing as much as 380 pounds plus in the gym. He was a massive, imposing, and awe-inspiring. But such mass doesn't come easy. There were whispers of steroids, but Ronnie's secret was much more than that. His training regime was brutal, and his diet was insane. He would consume up to 10,000 calories a day, with a focus on protein and complex carbohydrates. And along his steroid cycle, he also used insulin and HGH to help him achieve his incredible shape. Ronnie Coleman wasn't just a bodybuilder, he was a machine, a true beast that defied all expectations. Was Ronnie natural? The name Ronnie Coleman is synonymous with bodybuilding, a true legend in the industry. With an astounding eight Mr. Olympia titles to his name, Ronnie's dominance on the stage was unparalleled. But with such incredible achievements comes a question that's been on everyone's mind. Was Ronnie Coleman natural? The answer is a complex one. Ronnie himself has been open about his use of steroids, HGH, and insulin to achieve his jaw-dropping physique. But it's important to note that no amount of drugs can replace the sheer hard work, dedication, and talent that Ronnie possessed. He trained like a madman, lifting weights that would break most people and pushing his body to its absolute limit. At his peak, Ronnie weighed in at a staggering 320 pounds, with biceps that measured 21 inches and a chest that spanned 58 inches. His waist was a trim 36 inches, and his thighs were a massive 36 inches as well. And with a body fat percentage ranging between 6 to 8 percent, Ronnie's physique was nothing short of miraculous. What does Is Ronnie Coleman Natural mean? When it comes to achieving a dream physique, hard work, discipline, and dedication are key. But for those in the world of bodybuilding, the use of steroids has become a hotly debated topic. While these substances can accelerate muscle growth and mimic the effects of testosterone, they also come with serious health risks and are illegal in most countries. For Ronnie Coleman, his remarkable physique was the result of a combination of factors, including hard work, a strict diet, and the use of steroids and other performance-enhancing drugs. But it's important to remember that this path is not for everyone, and the risks must be carefully considered before taking any steps down this road. In the end, it's up to each individual to decide what path is right for them and to pursue their dreams with caution and care. Did Ronnie Coleman admit to using steroids? Ronnie Coleman, the name alone, is enough to evoke awe and admiration in the world of bodybuilding. He is the eight-time Mr. Olympia, a title that he won with his mind-blowing physique, a feat that only a handful of people in the world have achieved. But what was the secret to his success? Was Ronnie Coleman natural? These were questions that had been asked for a long time, and finally, in June 2020, on the Joe Rogan Experience podcast, Coleman opened up about his use of performance-enhancing drugs. Coleman admitted that he began using prescription steroids when he was 30 years old, but it was always moderated and controlled. He used just enough to level the playing field to gain a competitive edge, but not enough to do any serious harm to his body. He revealed that he used steroids such as testosterone, dianabol, 
equipoise, anadrol, and even decadurabolin, along with growth hormones and insulin. But Ronnie Coleman was not just a man who relied on PEDS to achieve his goals. He also credited good genes, proper training, and a strict diet for his massive physique. He worked hard, adhered to a strict diet, and trained rigorously to achieve his desired results. What's more, Coleman was very particular about where he purchased his PEDS from. He never bought them from the black market and always got a prescription from a doctor before making a purchase. He also made sure to cap his steroid use during his competitive prep and would stop taking them immediately during the off-season cycle. However, Coleman also spoke about the health consequences of using PEDS and steroids. He warned that using these drugs can have serious health implications if they are not moderated and controlled. He also revealed that he stayed all-natural for the first six years of his bodybuilding career before turning to PEDS. In the end, Ronnie Coleman's story teaches us that while performance-enhancing drugs can give you an edge in bodybuilding competitions, they are not worth the risk. It is important to rely on good genes, proper training, and a strict diet to achieve the desired results. And while the temptation to use PEDS may be strong, it is wise to resist it and stay natural, as Ronnie Coleman did for the first six years of his career. Why steroids? He knew that he needed to up his game to achieve his dream physique. He saw his fellow competitors using performance-enhancing drugs and realized that he needed to take the same route to gain a competitive edge. And so, he made the decision to use steroids to achieve his goals. Despite supplements like creatine and BCAAs being promoted by many bodybuilders, Coleman believed that he needed something more to take his physique to the next level. And he was right. After he started using PEDS, he quickly moved up the ranks and won annual bodybuilding competitions. Coleman's dedication and hard work, combined with the use of steroids, led him to achieve an unparalleled feat in bodybuilding history. He won eight Mr. Olympia championships in a row, tying him with another bodybuilding legend, Lee Haney, and giving him three more victories than Arnold Schwarzenegger, who won five. Ronnie Coleman's legacy in the world of bodybuilding will forever be remembered as one of the greatest champions of all time. The Kind of Steroids Ronnie Coleman didn't shy away from using doctor-prescribed performance enhancers to gain an edge over his competitors. However, he claimed that he was never taking more than what other athletes were taking. In his own words, I wasn't taking tons of stuff, I probably wasn't taking any more than what those baseball players were taking. Despite using PEDS, he never bought them on the black market, instead obtaining testosterone and growth hormone prescriptions from doctors and presenting them to the drug enforcement agency officials during competitions. Coleman emphasized that while he used PEDS to level the playing field, he did not encourage others to do so. With his winning record and massive physique, Coleman's legacy in bodybuilding remains a subject of fascination and inspiration to many aspiring bodybuilders. That's all for today, folks. Thanks for watching and catch us next time for more.